Since January 1st, wildfires have burned more than 6.4 million acres across the country, almost three times the amount burned during the same span last year. That's continuing a trend of bigger, more destructive fires. But to what extent are these fires natural, and to what extent are they human-driven? The overwhelming majority of wildfires in the U.S. are started by humans, as many as 90% of them, in fact. But that's not really the point. The factors that allow them to spread so rapidly in certain regions have evolved over millennia and serve an ecological purpose. In forests, wildfires regenerate soil, recycle nutrients, and some forests even depend on regular fires to reseed trees. But as with so many things, humans have disrupted this natural process and have made it more destructive. Through suppressing regular fires for agriculture and development, humans have likely increased the frequency of severe fires by allowing forest litter, like dead leaves and branches, to accumulate. That litter also allows greenhouse gases to accumulate, which means those severe fires are also contributing to climate change, which is in turn leaving forests drier and hotter and making it a lot easier to start those severe wildfires. Especially in Alaska, which is currently seeing its worst ever wildfire season and, as the country's only Arctic state, is also warming twice as fast as the rest of the U.S., according to Climate Central. But it doesn't look like suppressing those fires will stop anytime soon. Settlement of wildfire-prone areas in Colorado, for example, is only increasing, and the government spends some $3 billion to protect settlement every year. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.